You already know what it is, YouTube, and if you didn't know, you better find out that this is your boy, Division, and we back again with another UFC reaction. This time, we got Israel Adesanya, Journey to UFC Champion. It's like a compilation of um, most of his fights, I believe it's going to be, um, just leading up to him becoming the UFC uh, middleweight champion. I think he was middleweight champion. Correct me if I'm wrong down below, but y'all already know what it is doing here man i'm loving these ufc reactions if you're loving them yourself make sure you hit that subscribe button because i got plenty more to come i promise you that um we're gonna get right into this video y'all let's go ahead and get it israel adesanya first entered the octagon having already made a name as a two division kickboxing champion yeah i did hear he was a kickboxing MMA, champion he proved just as devastating 11 fights 11 finishes leading up to his ufc debut in february 2018 where he lived up to the hype, unleashing his vast arsenal, brutal kicks, and crisp combinations. Middleweight, I'm the new dog in the yard. Adesanya continued his undefeated streak as he outclassed every middleweight contender that was put in front of him, starting with Marvin Vittori. The rest of the strikers in this division, you're on notice. Stars make fights. I'm the style manager. I know how to adapt to each and every single one of them. You can't touch him. It's hard to find when to throw and what to commit to. Oh, Adesanya lands a flush right. Faking, he's switching stances, giving a bunch of different looks. Dude, his, like, like technicality is crazy. Take down attempt for Tavares. Oh, wow, look wow. at Adesanya now. Nice defense there by the New Zealander. He has been the boss. He has been the bully. He has led the dance. And the last style bender is starting to go to work. Sideways, I'm ambidextrous, bystantial, trademark. By Stanchio. First time. Combination. With Damn, three that's funny as fuck. Well. In just five months. Israel, the last time. So, the promotion would match its surging prospect against top 10 knockout artist Derek Brunson. I'm in his face. I saw him. He can't even control his emotions. He's just coming in here trying to flex. Don't worry. November 3rd, I will deliver. Okay. Israel, skinny, bro. Hey, you better lift some weights, man. You're skinny as hell. I'm not worried about you. Bring that chin on the platter, and I'll clean it off as well. So here is the unflappable Israel Adesanya fourth UFC appearance here tonight. I mean, he's just so effortless and fluid in the way he throws those shots. But this is, without a doubt, going to be the toughest guy he's ever faced. I mean, Derek Brunson has a real resume. So yo guys, uh, I never heard of Derrick Brunson. Like, what's his, uh, what's what they do about him? Like, uh, what do Derrick Brunson do well? What's his weaknesses? Let me know down below uh, what y'all think about Derrick Brunson and why this fight was so significant. Derrick Brunson is so strong. They just kept on saying hype, 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 and I am the hype train. I ran him over. Ooh. Oh. Hurting that boy. Oh, putting a whooping on him, man. He's putting a whooping on this boy. First round knockout, and the media really hyped this up to be a, um, a big fight. That's crazy. Um, did that happen often in the UFC? Uh, I know it, sometimes it happens in boxing. Um, sometimes it even happens in team sports, basketball and stuff, but... How often does that happen in UFC? I know um, I've heard there's like some big upsets sometimes, but how often um, are big fights promoted and it just doesn't pan out to be what they thought, what you thought it was going to be? Let me know. That's what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. That's the last style bender, folks. <laughs> hey, I fucks with the dancing. I fucks with the creativity. I, I, I like that. I like that. It just makes it fun. I know some people want want their athletes to be kind of cookie cutter, but I like the individuality. Against MMA royalty, as he was set to face former middleweight king Anderson Silva, and due to unforeseen circumstances, this highly anticipated matchup was moved to the main event of UFC 234. So it goes in the fight game. Our main event tonight was to be the UFC middleweight championship, but Whitaker and Gaslam are off the card, and that means Israel Adesanya and the Spider Anderson Silva move up and will headline UFC 234 tonight. Taking Whitaker and Gastelum's place as headlining attraction, 
was a fight fan's dream matchup between a legend and a new superstar who emerged seemingly out of nowhere. Few fighters have had as much hype coming into a UFC debut and a career as Israel Adesanya. He has lived up to that hype and then some as he draws the legend Anderson Silva. We have witnessed his greatness for the better part of two decades. <laughs> this is a real life anime character. You truly run out of time to set up. But Anderson Silva, right I know he's one of like another one of the greatest of all time. I need to react to some Anderson Silva. Give me some suggestions down below if I'm going to do some Anderson Silva. What video should I react to? Appearance for Israel Adesanya as he attacked that lead leg of Anderson Silva, and he's getting Anderson to fight on the feet, and Adesanya touched Silva with the right hand. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Now this is crazy. Wait, I heard Anderson got moves too. Oh yeah, he got swag too. Ooh. Every time Silva advances, five minutes down. You usually see Spider Anderson Silva doing that to people, and now we're seeing Adesanya give him a taste of his own medicine with the showmanship. Big left hand lands for Adesanya. Oh, oh. big counter right hook. Oh, Silva with the guard completely lowered. And this is what Anderson needs to do. Make it ugly, get in the underhook, get in the pocket. Albozin, Albozin, and get away. Adesanya forced to clinch for a second. Now a buckling leg kick from Israel. Well, a lot of fans got to be sitting home wishing this was maybe a five-rounder, but this is our third Ooh. and final round. I have a feeling we're going to see Israel throw a lot more in this third round. Ooh, Ooh. that hurt, that hurt. Adesanya Stunned. continues to work that lower half. Adesanya forced to retreat. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh. almost got him. Mix up your shot. I mean, how cool is this watching Anderson Silva go strike for strike to this man? And out of sight, just looking amazing. What? He ate him. Did he just eat the punches? A lot of people believe at some point Israel Adesanya will have that middleweight belt firmly around his waist. Of course, Kelvin Gastelum and the rest are going to have a whole lot to say about that. Hey, Rob, heal up quick. Kelvin, put that belt down. Seriously. <laughs> Although UFC 234 began with chaos, it ended with clarity and a championship booking materialized. Israel Adesanya is going to be fighting Calvin Gaslam for the UFC interim middleweight title. We had a deal and we shook on it. After Anderson Silva, I get a bill on my next fight. I'm going to do that. We're going to train smart. All of our attentions are in Israel and we'll fight for a belt. So Gaston, um, interim middleweight champion. Who was the actual champion and why was there an interim situation for one? And for two, is he is he all that? Like, uh, let me know, like, is is he like somebody to watch or is he just, just another run of the mill um, interim champion? Let me know down below. We haven't seen him face the kind of grappling and pressure and experience than Calvin Gaslam possesses. Gaslam feels that he's just a better fighter. And at 185, when Calvin Gaslam lands, people go to sleep. <laughs> Woo! Hard kick to the body. Woo! Boy, Gaslam is throwing some heat. That is sign you starting to get off a little bit more now. Beautiful. Oh! Ooh. Big got him down. He got back up though, so Inside not over with. You cannot make a mistake with a striker that's as sharp as Israel Adesanya. And right now he's got Kelvin just guessing. Oh! 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 Oh, oh. oh Kelvin's in real trouble. Those right hands are landing so clean for Israel. Oh. Ooh, got him. Got him though. Wow! What a fight! What a fight. <laughs> oh, he goes high. Look at that. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh. Oh. He hired him! The most hurt we've ever seen Israel Adesanya for sure in a fight. The most adversity he's ever felt. He's got to take the momentum back from Kelvin Gaslam. I look for iconic moments. Iconic moments I'll live forever. Woo! In that fifth round, I, I looked across the cage and I could see Kelvin. I looked at him, I was like, you're not going to beat me. Oh, nice front kick to the face by Israel. Nice handy work there from Adesanya. He can't miss with that right hand no more. Oh, oh, he's just he's trouble. just working now, him now. Got his number. I washed him away in that fifth round. I left no doubt. Oh, oh wow. Oh, man. Oh, 
him hard right now. Oh. Is it over with? Nope, he's still up. The dude is, dude is not going. He got down again. That was dope. With interim gold around his way, but that's just Adesanya interim gold. Now set himself up for a title unification bout against reigning middleweight king Robert Whitaker. DC, I'm just not sure there is any point of comparison in all of professional sports than the intensity of a UFC championship fight, and especially when you add this stadium backdrop. When you're in there and you walk to the middle, you're like, man, this is a moment. Hey, <laughs> choreographed. <laughs> No matter what anyone said, that's hilarious. <laughs> whether they believed me or they didn't believe me, I didn't care. I was gonna get this done one way or another. He has taken this sport by storm. He moves every needle, celebrity and otherwise, that you would want him to move. He is 17 and 0, but tonight he figures to be facing his stiffest challenge to date considerably as Israel Adesanya takes on Robert Whittaker. This is a guy that has fought five rounds against some of the more scary guys that we've ever seen in the octagon. His fights with Yoel Romero are things of legend. And this guy is a great champion and one of the best fighters that I've ever seen in the octagon. And he has been perfect at 185 pounds, 8 and 0. Whitaker has to make this fight a little bit dirty. If it's just a straight kickboxing match, there aren't many people in the world that can beat Israel at that. Stay on the good side. Stay on the good side. We're blinding in just like we wanted. Watching how calm Adesanya is when Whitaker's throwing everything with so much heat is crazy. Adesanya lands the jab. This is what Adesanya has to do. He has to fight behind that jab. He can't allow. He Whitaker already got Whitaker up. busted open though. His nose bleeding. Oh, oh took him down. Big, oh. big shot by Izzy. You get him again? Or is that the, that's just the replay? That's just the replay. All right, real quick, y'all. Robert Whitaker. Tell me something about him below. Like I know nothing about Robert Whitaker, even though I've heard the name. Like, what type of fighter is he? Is he a striker? Is he a grappler? Like, what does he do? Why? Why should I know him? And give me some um, some fights I should watch of him as well. Thank you. Second round underway now. We'll see the extent to which Robert Whitaker is compromised after a big moment for the last style bender to close round one. He's got Rob chasing him, and he's just sliding out of range. How about the dexterity, the head move? That's a nice kick he missed. Wow, beautiful to watch. Look nice. Oh, he's starting to feel himself now. He's starting to get into his flow. Then it's not good for Robert Whitaker. Oh, beautiful body work now from Adesanya. Less than two years into his UFC career, Israel Adesanya is what he knew and thought he was, the best middleweight on planet Earth. I did want Romero to do in 10 rounds. I did it in two. And I would say a star is born, but this star was born a long time ago. Israel Adesanya, who has captivated the MMA masses every step of the way. Now the standard at 185 pounds. All right, y'all. So there we go. There we have it. Israel Adesanya journey to UFC champion. We watched a couple of his um, pre-championship fights. Then we watched him win the intern title. Then we watched him unify it by beating Robert Whitaker. Israel, he's definitely uh, one of the most popular names in UFC. I definitely knew who he was before I started this um, UFC reaction journey. Um, haven't really seen any 
fights or anything or anything like this. I saw a few highlights of him in the past, so I knew he was dope. Let me know what y'all think about Israel. I know it's a lot of like controversy about him right now. Does he suck? Is he still one of the GOATs because of how um, he just recently lost? Uh, but y'all let me know y'all opinion on him. Give me some old ideas of what I should be reacting to down below. Uh, and don't forget, most of all, subscribe. Hit that like button. Help your boy out. Help this channel grow. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.